Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Arsenal. It's Champions League time once again. This time round, it's PSG at home and out of the four home games that we have in the Champions League in the league phase, this is definitely the hardest one because we're going to have Shakhtar, we're going to have Dinamo Zagreb and also Monaco. So this one against PSG is going to be our hardest game at home. Obviously, last last time out, we drew against Atalanta, could easily have lost the game. If it was not for Raya, we ended up getting a nil-nil, which is not the end of the world. And um, this particular game against PSG, I think you have to win most of your home games in the Champions League league phase. Now, at the beginning of the campaign before the season started the Champions League campaign I said I'm going to go for um, I think I said five wins two draws and one loss so that would take us to 17 points that would be enough to um, get into the top eight so now we've already drawn one so from according to my prediction I'm still expecting one more draw and one more loss and uh, we still have some tough teams to play PSG, Inter Milan, Sporting and teams like that, all, all those teams are going to be very difficult. Now, the difference between this league phase and the group stage, um, the, the one that we used to have all those years, if you draw your first game, let's say the Atalanta, and then the next game against PSG, you lose, all of a sudden you're in trouble. All of a sudden it's two games, you only have four games remaining, you know, maybe top of the table has six points, second of the table already has four, and maybe the third place team has one or two points, and all of a sudden you have to catch up. Now, the league phase is different. I actually think you can afford to draw with PSG and then even draw with Sporting and win the other games and start, uh, Pinter Milan is there as well. Basically, I think even with four wins and four draws without losing, you can still finish in the top eight. But we want to make it as comfortable as we can for ourselves. We want to take advantage of the home games because personally, I think it's easier to play PSG at home than to play Inter Milan and Sporting away. So we have to take advantage of our home games. That is what we need to do. Find a way to win your home games. And for their away games, like against Inter Milan, you go there, you pick up a draw absolutely no problem um but listen i am confident for this game you know three four years ago i probably wouldn't be uh, confident for this particular game in the champions league arsenal against psg i'd be like no man Bappe, messi and all these guys i wouldn't be confident but right now i think we have a squad they do have a squad for sure as well but i am very confident in terms of playing them at home good thing is not away from home so let's see how this one um will go now last time for psg and they also almost drew nil nil in their game against girona uh, I think the Girona goalkeeper made a bad error like in the 94th minute or something and that gave um, PSG the win. So they are on three points at the moment, so they're in a better place at the moment than us. Uh, but they've already played a home game, we haven't. So this is our home game and this is a game I think um, we, we need to win. We need to win. As I said, it's not the end of the world if you don't win it, but considering we have Sporting and Inter Milan away, it would be better for us to win this particular game so that we don't have a lot of pressure against Sporting and Inter Milan. You don't want to go into the Inter Milan game um, next month um, knowing that, oh my goodness, like we've not won any of the first two, three Champions League games yet. We have to go and beat Inter Milan. No, you don't want that situation. You want to beat PSG at home, beat Shakhtar at home next time. You're on six points. And then when you go to Inter Milan and Sporting, you're like, okay, a draw here wouldn't be the end of the world as long as we beat Dinamo Zagreb at home and we beat um, Girona in the game that you're going to play against them. But I am confident. PSG, as always, they have the start started the season well um, themselves. They haven't lost a game just like us. I think they've had five wins and a draw. Not bad for them at all. Very, very good. They've had like a 4-1 win. Um, they, they beat a couple of good teams as well. You usually expect them to win that league for sure. Um, but it's going to be a good test. The last time we played them, I think it drew 2-2 two, two at home. So it's definitely going to be a good test. And for us, it's good that you're heading into this game uh, on a back to uh, on a good good run of form, back-to-back -back home wins against Bolton and also against... Um, which team did we play? We played against um, Leicester. Yeah, I can never forget about Leicester because they gave us such a hard game. We are going to, uh, that's, that's a good run of form, beating those two teams and also drawing in Man's team, beating Tottenham and beating this one so far. Hopefully we can go on with that um, with that form. It, it's crazy. Let me tell you something crazy about Arsenal's home form and away form. Yes, we win the games. In the Premier League, Somehow we are very comfortable playing away from home. We never concede goals and all that. But at home, we do give teams chances. I don't know if that is because we usually push forward and attack more and, you know, give teams spaces to score. But in the league, at, away from home, we are very comfortable at home. We usually have to work very hard to win the games. Now, in the Champions League from last season, it's been very different. Champions League-wise, we trashed PSV 4-0 at home last season. We put six past lawns. Uh, we we drew with Bayern Munich at home. We beat FC Porto at our place, and then we went to penalties in that game. We also beat Sevilla at home. All Three clean sheets, I think. Actually, four. We kept four clean sheets out of the five home games last season in the, in the Champions League. But away from home... 
we've struggled. We drew with Atalanta. We lost to Bayern Munich. Both of them, those games didn't score. We lost to El Porto, didn't score. So we can actually say the last time, um, is it last three or four Champions League away games have not even scored a goal. So that is very, very, very awkward, very, very weird. But at home, we do very well in the, in, the, in the Champions League. But in the Premier League, away from home, we never concede goals. We always score. But uh, at home, we always have to like work very hard. We still win games. I mean, we have, we've only lost one game this whole year in the Premier League. And if you had the Champions League one and the, the FA Cup one, it's three games the entire year. So we still do very, very well. But let me get my point at home in the Champions League. Very, very good. So let's hope we carry that form from last season, the form that we had from last season. Let's win the games. Let's make it as comfortable as we can for ourselves. Let's not, um, you know, give PSG any chance to take the lead. Let's not give Dembele space to run in behind. Let's not give any of the good players a chance to, you know, put a goal past us and stuff. So um, for me, I am confident. Um, I think we are going to win. I think it's going to be a hard game, but the home game is the Champions League. You have to win. That is what you need to do. I don't know if PSG are going to come to a place and, you know, go to two and try to beat us two three goals or they're going to you know play a little bit cautious i don't know if that is how they want to play or that is how every other team is going to play in the champions league this season away from home they're going to be a bit cautious because they know even if we don't win we're still going to go through like the way man stay in milan played in the first game it didn't really seem like any of them were very keen on winning the game because you know listen this is the toughest team you're going to play as long as we win the rest absolutely fine but let's see how that how it goes for my lineup for this game um i'm going to put it on screen right away i am going to stick with the right uh, the the lineup that played against leicester so the same exact lineup i'm going to go with wire calafiori gabriel saliba team but now before i come to the rest um ben white is currently injured now what i do with ben white He's been playing with a knock. He's been playing with an injury for the last, like, one year. So now that Tim Ben Calafia are playing really well, this is an opportunity for, for us to rest Ben White. He's already, he wasn't even on the bench for the last game. Now, if we rest through this week, and then he also rests um, through uh, throughout the international break, that is a good, like, one month out for him just to rest. That would be great. And then after the international break, he comes back, you know, revitalized, ready to go. He's still going to be used. I don't think, like, uh, he's just going to be on the bench now and Timber and Calafia are going to play every single game. No, we're going to see a little bit of rotation there. I don't even want Timber to play every single game anyway because he's just coming back from a terrible injury. We need to mix up his minutes. But Calafia and Timber have been absolutely incredible, especially in the last game. They were phenomenal. So for me, address Ben White. This is an opportunity to rest Ben White. All these other seasons, we weren't able to rest Ben White because, you know, we had players like Cedric on the bench, so he couldn't really rest Ben White, and Tommy Yass is never available. Um, so that is my defense midfield, Pate, Rice, and Trossa. There's a part of me that thought about starting Jorginho, but since Pate was rested against Bolton, I'm just going to give him this game again. And then um, Trossa, absolutely fantastic in the number 10 position against um, Leicester. He hit the post. He he had a shot that was saved from the goalkeeper error, but the goalkeeper um, saved it afterwards. That was a very good save. Um he, he scored, he assisted, so he could easily have had a hat-trick in this game. And then um, forward line, I'm going to start with Martinelli. So happy to have him back on the score sheet. Saka and um, Kai Havertz up front. So the only position I really thought about um, changing is um, the party and the Jorginho position. But the rest of the team, I was um, starting that is the team that I'm going to start. And then that leaves on the bench, Neto, Porter, Kivio, Lewis Kelly, Nuaneri, Jorginho, Gabriel, Jesus, Sterling, Salah, Heaven, Nichols, Kakuri. I kind of thought about giving Jesus a chance because he was our best player in the Champions League last season, but the form is not there at the moment, unfortunately. So, listen, we can argue Martinelli has been played to form, so you can argue play Jesus, but I don't want Havertz in midfield in this particular game, not in play up form, but I would bring on Jesus early in this game, not the 94th minute. I would bring him on to see how he does in this particular game because uh, we also need his confidence. As I've said in the last two reaction streams, Jesus and Martinelli without Odegaard, if you're going to win this league, even with Odegaard, we need Jesus and Martinelli to perform. If at least one of them performed last season, we'd have won that league. So we, we can't like just have Martinelli not confident and Jesus not confident. And now nah, we have to, you know, get a few goals from them and a few assists from them just to, you know, um, get us going to have different options. You know, if Havertz is scoring, Saka is assisting, scoring, Martinelli's back scoring, Rice is um, scoring, assisting, Trossard is scoring, assisting, that would be great. That would be great. A lot of different 
different ways to score, a lot of different players to score. That would be great. But that is my lineup. I'm hoping to see Nuaneri as well. If we can make, I uh, get a chance. Is this a Champions League debut? I think I'd like to see, get a few minutes from Nuaneri as well in this one. But again, Southampton, I would start Nuaneri. But for this one, I'm going to stick with Trossard. I know Paul have said, right, does Nuaneri not start? But to be fair, for me, I wanted Trossard to start in the number 10 for that Leicester game. And Trossard performed, but nearly performed. So no big deal. Nuaneri changed the game against Southampton. You can find a way for him to start. So my prediction for this game, I am going to go for. Ooh, Tough one. I'm going to go for Arsenal to get two goals, but I am going to go for, for them to score as well. So I'm going to go for Arsenal 2 and a PSG 1. So 2-1 win for Arsenal. Any any kind of win I'll take. If you can get to convincing win, even better. But any kind of win I'll take. But I'm going to go for 2-1. I'm going to go for Harvards and um and Trossard to score. I'm going to go for Saka and Martinelli to assist. That is my prediction. That is my lineup. Let me know your lineup and your prediction. Uh, what do you expect? Do you think it's a must win or do you think a draw is fine as long as you win the rest? Let me know. Thank you for watching and I'll catch up with you on the next one.